Well, hello everyone, it's Robrix here, and today I'm taking a look at this Lego Batman movie set. It's set number 70903. It's called the Riddler Riddle Racer. It comes with 254 pieces, 5 minifigures, and in the UK, this set used to retail for £29.99. Unfortunately, I don't think I have the box for this set anymore, but I still do have the instructions, so let's take a look at the ads in them because we do get a few. And we get some of the Lego Batman movie sets here, as you can see. And this DC ad as well, and I think that's it, yep. Let's take a look at the minifigures now, and we get five in this set, which is a lot. And the first minifigure is the Riddler, and he looks so cool. He's got some great printing on his torso, just really detailed. He's even got printing on both his arms, which is so cool. As you can see, there is a look at the back printing of his torso. There is a close look at his face and his alternate face as well. And the Riddler also comes with this really cool staff piece where there's a question mark on the top. That is so cool. Here is Calendar Man and he's a bit weird because he's a calendar. Anyway, he's got some printing on his hat there at the top. Some torso and leg printing as well. And he comes with this cape, as you can see, with lots of different numbers on. Just like a calendar, which is kind of cool. And if you remove the cape, there we go. Now we can see his back torso printing, which is pretty cool. And that's about it for this minifigure. The next minifigure is Magpie, who comes with some dynamite, as you can see there. And I'll just remove that. And she's got this shoulder armor thingy magic here with a red stud at the front, which is cool. She uses Nia's hair from Ninjago in white. There's a look at the back. There's a close look at her torso and face printing. And her back printing on her torso and her face. Jeez, that face is a bit weird. <laughs> and that's about it for this minifigure. The next minifigure is Kite Man. And he's called Kite Man because he has a kite. And he's got a red visor there, which can be adjusted, which is pretty cool. There's his torso printing. And there's a look at the back of his kite. As you can see, it's a very simple build, still nice though. And there is a close look at his alternate face where he looks like he's absolutely crazy. And the final minifigure is Batman, who looks like he's in a really bad mood. Anyway, he's got a utility belt there and a Batarang, which is kind of cool. He's got this fabric cape as well, which is nice. There is his alternate face and a look at the back of his torso as well. And finally, we'll take a look at the Riddler Racer and it looks pretty cool. We'll take a look at the front first, where we get this sticker here for this question mark. We've also got these yellow window pieces here, which I'm guessing are supposed to be headlights. These orange pieces on either side for indicators. And we also get these pieces here, which I'm guessing are supposed to be mirrors, so that's kind of cool. Here's a look at this side, where there's not too much, where we get these wheels. Whee! There's a look at the back, and this can move up and down, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. And there's this side, and there is a look inside, where we get a sticker behind the steering wheel, which is not too easy to see. There we go, you can kind of see it now. And a steering wheel, and the Riddler there as well, which is pretty cool. And I'll show you how this thing works, so you... You just move this up and we get two missiles so you can just shoot your opponents and I'll just show you how that works so we can just lightly tap this piece and there we go it flicked and we'll try this one as well and that one fell somewhere and that's how that works and that's pretty much all there is to the car it's a really nice car and now we'll take a look at the recommendations overall this is a pretty cool set we'll start with the value first and the price in the UK was £30, it was also $30 in the US, and you got 254 pieces in this set, 
Um, so that is a little bit steep for thirty pounds, I feel. Um, but this is a licensed set, and you do get five minifigures, which is a lot for a set of this size. And you know, minifigures they're like three pounds, three pounds fifty each. So yeah, the value I don't think is actually too bad. The vehicle is not super big though, so um, you know, it feels like more like twenty pounds than thirty pounds. But to be honest, I still feel like it's worth the money. Um, this set is now discontinued, so. I'm guessing the price will be higher now on eBay or Bricklink or wherever. Um, but this was a really cool set. I think the best part of the set are the minifigures. They're really good for the most part. Um, the Riddler in particular is just so detailed. It's amazing. We get Batman as well, like we do in every Lego Batman movie set. But we also get these three guys as well, which they're really nice as well. Um, the car is also a great build. I love the green colour and these white stripes on either side. And we get some missiles as well. So this is a pretty cool set. And... I do highly recommend it if you can find it on eBay or Bricklink or wherever. And that's all I have to say for this set. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!